Plantor. Hey folks, thanks for watching. This is just gonna be a plant tour um, and an update on what I'm doing right now as far as my plant journey because spring is starting to occur. It's actually warm outside. It's about 62 degrees. I was thinking about transferring my elderberry outside, but still it's not there yet. Um, I think I'm going to start to acclimate it to the outdoors and that's what you should do if you have an indoor plant you need and you want to take it outside you definitely need to acclimate it because the sun outside is definitely stronger than the sun inside your house so basically to do that you would just introduce it to the outdoors like put it in the morning usually at I would say morning time when the sun is basically close to like 9 or 8 or 10 o'clock but just make it get some morning sun because that's the best sun it can get leave it outside for about two hours bring it back inside after that two hours and repeat that the next day try to break it into a little two and a half or three hours take it back inside and then you want to do it for about three days um, and then extend the time frame until you the fourth or fifth time you can just leave it outside and basically it should be acclimated to the sun's rays and it shouldn't get shock because like I said the light inside your house is not as powerful as the light outside your house so you need to make sure that you acclimate it when you take it outside so you don't kill it that's a green thumb fact appreciate that <laughs> inside from like a nursery or something like that you're bringing it you're acclimating it to your house because the nursery or wherever you got it has a different environment and now you're keeping it in another environment so it needs to adjust so usually people tell you when you get a new plant you don't want to water it right away you don't want to do anything you won't don't want to fertilize it you just want to give it a little rest period to see what it's going to do in your house with the lighting, the watering, the humidity, the carbon dioxide, everything. You just need to get all those factors inside so the plant can kind of feel at home when you first get it. Because like a fish, I don't know if you see my tank in the back, if you ever get a new fish, you got to acclimate it to the water, meaning you would just get your bag and get your fish in a bag sit it in your tank for about five to fifteen minutes usually fifteen minutes max to get the water the same temperature as in the bag basically that's what it's doing and it's slowly changing the temperature to what the temperature is in your tank once again everything kind of needs to get acclimated and acquainted to its new environment and that's all simple facts, um, real basic stuff when you get your new plant or even if you get a new fish, you need to think about that. Even if you get something outside, man, if you get an outdoor plant, you wanna make sure that you acclimate it. You don't wanna feed it. You don't wanna do nothing to it for like the first year. See if it... But basically, I wanna give you a plant tour of my plants. I've been fighting and I've been fighting and I've been fighting just not by a plant. So I have my mind focused on other things that I have going on in my life. Um, the plants with the build, with the new stand, I, I really made some decisions to stop by a nursery, which I have stopped by a nursery in the near couple weeks, I would say within say two days ago, I was at a nursery. So. Um, but the only thing is I didn't buy any plants. And I said, if I, but yeah, I was saying, I wasn't, I didn't want to buy another plant because the platform that I have, the stand, the build, it is full. So I don't want to overcrowd it. I, I got, you know, the plants are going to grow, so I have to keep that in mind. So, what I want to do is just stop buying indoor plants. 
I am about to make a purchase from A. Sean Plants. Well, I'm about to contact them and get another plant. That's gonna be my last plant. I, that's gonna be my last plant I, I, for a while, until I figure something out, because my lighting is limited. I have LEDs, but I really don't want to use them. But I can use them, but I haven't had the inspiration or the motivation to use them. Um, I do have one hanging and once again, we're approaching the summer months, so I'm not going to need them um, Let me show you one thing guys this this uh, So this is my elderberry I have a video about that you check that out um, Every part of this plant is toxic so you don't want to ingest it and even when i touch it i just wash my hands or i use gloves um so when i prune it i'm probably going to do the edible ex you know everything else on this plant is not good for you so with that said look at the growth not to bash it but it's i'd say it's about three foot tall and we even had a new shoot in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. It's not a lush plant. I know everybody is is <laughs> questioning like, I just wanna represent and show some appreciation for well, what type of plants grow inside that come from the US, meaning plants in the US um, that are native to the US that people actually keep in their house. I have to look that up. But I'm just talking, but I just like the way this guy looks. As you can see, the growth it took off, and I wanted to bring it outside, which I was going to acclimate this. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the elderberry, and we can't wait to get some berries. So I've been hiding this thing from you guys. This is another agave, a type of agave. It's called a calancho. And we wanna see what Google has to say about the calancho. Hey Google, how do you take care of a calancho plant? Here's a summary from the website homeguides.sfgate.com. One, select an area with plenty of sunlight and light, sandy soil. Two, water calanchoe when the soil feels dry, but avoid wetting the leaves. Three, trim off any dead or wilting flowers at their stems. Four, fertilize calanchoe during periods of new growth. And five, about the author. To read more, look for the link in your Google Home app. Hey Google, is there any more information about the calanchoe? Sorry, I can't help with that yet. All right, so I'm sorry, I thought it was a calancho, but it's called a calancoe. Calancoe, check it out. Go get it, guys, because it's a beauty. I'm going to get a nice pot for it, of course, but this is the calan calancoe. Um, I don't know if it's toxic. Hey, hey Google, is the cal calancoe toxic? On the website veterinarymedicine.dvm360.com, they say, The flowers of the Kalanchoe blossfeldiana plant, the most common ornamental Kalanchoe species in the United States. Kalanchoe species contain cardiac glycosides and are toxic to animals. Cardiac glycosides and it is toxic to animals. Hmm. Let's see what it knows about the soil requirements. Hey Google, what is the soil requirements for a calanchoe? Growerdirect.com, they say, plant in well-drained, well-aerated soil, such as 50% peat moss and 40% perlite. Percent perlite, or perlite, 40%, so fast-draining soil. Um, let's also see if we can get information on the lighting, because lighting is crucial very crucial. What's the lighting requirements for a calanchoe? Here's a summary from the website growerdirect.com. 
Kalanchoe needs plenty of light to bloom. Place potted plant close to a sunny window. Keep plant warm. Temperatures between 13 to 29 degrees Celsius would be ideal. Plant in well-drained, well-aerated soil. Kalanchoe, guys. It's the Kalanchoe. I have like a shoot growing here. And I have another shoot growing there. And basically we need, and I got some other like roots growing out of this stem here, which is pretty neat. So I'm gonna have, oh boy, look at that. Look at that, look at that. We got more roots under there, you see that? That's, this thing is popping. Um, hmm. We're gonna plant that up. I wanna do a video to show you how to remove and plant the Kalanchoe because I got plenty more Kalanchoe's on the way. Hmm, very nice. But I was looking at the, also like the spots on there, on this main leaf here. It doesn't look too good. Um, I'm gonna do some dusting. It wasn't in the best shape. I mean, I, I grabbed it because that was one thing I was looking at. Um, this type of uh, structure is just amazing. Um, it does look like a large succulent. Let's. Hey Google, is the Kalanchoe a agave? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet. Hey Google, what's the species of a Kalanchoe? Here's a summary from the website veterinarymedicine.dvm360.com. Kalanchoe is a genus of 150 to 200 plant species. The genus was divided into three genera, Kalanchoe, Bryophyllum, and Kitchinga. Okay. So I guess it's in its own, own little group. But uh, thanks for saying hello to my first Kalanchoe. I will definitely, if you guys got any information about the Kalanchoe, let me know. I would appreciate that or any helpful tips. Matter of fact, hey Google, what should we fertilize the Kalanchoe? On the website todayshomeowner.com, the they say, home. fertilizer, while your Kalanchoe is blooming, feed it every few weeks with a balanced organic fertilizer. Balance, I usually use pots. like a two. Kalanchos do well in clay pots, and they Kalancho. must have a drainage tray that can be empty. They're small plants that don't often have to be repotted. So it said Kalancho, and then it said a Kalanchoe. So Oh my, tomato, tomato, who cares? Like the names, there's one guy from Philly, he's not from so too far from me. Um, he's with Urban Jungle. He says the names, I guess because he deals with the plants so well, like so, he works with the plants. So he has the names down packed. Salute to you, my man. You, every time I watch your video, I, I kind of forgot who was, what's his name again? Let me give him a shout out. Oh, we got some shout outs too. Um, all right, so I also want to give out some shout outs to some subscribers and I subscribe to them as well. And that's one thing I do. Um, if you noticed, I don't, don't think I'm weird. I just want to know, usually the people that like my channel like plants. Um, I hope you like plants if you like my channel. Because um, it's what it's all about. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll subscribe to you back. I don't mind. I don't know if anybody else does it. I know I, I comment on a lot of people and I've subscribed to a lot of people. So, But I, I probably have probably a million other people who I've subscribed to. Probably less. I'm just exaggerating. But if you are have a plant channel, I'm most likely subscribed to you. Um, if I'm not, I probably, the YouTube guys have it sent me to you yet but I will find you and I will subscribe to you but if you subscribe to me back I'll most likely subscribe to you so I, I, the, the plant community is great I noticed the love even like like I, I travel to houses 
on the daily about maybe seven to eight houses a day new houses um, and I do notice that I always spark and have a great conversation and a great rapport like an awesome rapport with anybody that has like plants like not just one plant but just a bunch of plants I could just talk to them for days and it's like a friendship and it's so cool so that's why I actually have the plant channel because I know that you can't go wrong I know it's everybody says it's not popular I mean if you don't think it's popular you're crazy um, plants are trending it's just YouTube hasn't you know pretty much gave us a a a a a column like news or sports or something like that they should give us their own column our own gardening column because you know plants are so associated and in, 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 in tune with us and they're a part of us in our lives it's ridiculous and everything else means nothing but the plants if you lose the plants we're gone so you can lose sports and you still live and you can lose what else um, I don't know but you need plants in your life, point, point, period. And like I said, I it's just a great time always talking to people. And it's always a good time when I'm meeting new people. Like I said, I meet a new person every day. And when I see their plants, I compliment them on their plants. I tell them how well their plants, because I have to say it, because I just can't let it go. I just have to tell them how nice their plants are. And then we spark a conversation, then we get going, then we wind up getting cuttings. Um, but once again, I'm just, I was sidetracked but um, let me give a shout out to a lot of people um, because I have gotten over like 300 subscribers I'm still small obviously but um, we're moving but I want to give a shout out to life is a garden I want to give, give a shout out to uh, Janita loving it um, her channel check her channel out I want to give a shout out to supreme family garden um, Oh, I want to also give you a shout out to my sister, Brianna Elizabeth. Check her page out. She's just about makeup. So I, I want to watch her channel, but you know, I'm not a fan of makeup, but I, I always support her because I always give her a thumbs up or a comment. Her. So check her page out as well. And everybody, thanks for numbering your subscriber count um, last video. I haven't started the contest. I'm going to start that soon, but keep subscribing and stay tuned. And everybody, thanks for watching. And I'm just going to give you a quick tour of what's happening with my plants.